daily video. Remember the daily, so don't forget to like, subscribe to watch more. This one is how to draw a lucky horseshoe. Enjoy. How to draw an old school horseshoe design. That's going to be an old classic, you know, lucky one. So we we'll do this on the iPad Pro and Procreate. We can do it on normal paper, pens, markers, just copy what I do. Gonna have four layers, sketching, colour, shading, line work. Start with sketching and we we'll work our way down. I've got all these currently set to drawing assist, so just click on the layer, click drawing assist. Up in the top left hand corner, we've got drawing guide, edit drawing guide. Just put your symmetry to on, forget for now. It makes things a bit easier. If you've done on paper, don't worry about this, just copy what I do. It just draws both sides at the same time, so it speeds it up a little bit. So we're basically going to draw this nice curve coming up. Like so, and as we get here, go a little bit straighter. And I'm going to curve back around. Keep it about the same sort of distance apart, really. Have like this. I think I might have some kind of flower on this part just here. And I'm going to quickly turn drawing assist off. I'm going to have a lucky banner just coming through. Like so, just really classic. I'll have the word lucky written in there, which I'll attempt to do later. So for first I'm going to turn back on drawing assist and we're going to work on the pan because the whole the old horseshoes is getting the pattern in. Now the pattern can be any how you want. It's just a few little key things. You want to make sure you've got a circular part just in the top corner. Cool and you want to section this off, be it you know by cutting off this way or triangle it or something like that. So for this one, I'm going to have a bit of an old-fashioned curve just like this. We maybe have a little line just there. Bit similar the bottom here, I'm going to sort of triangle this part off and I'm going to bring in a centre line just coming up like here. Just dividing this up into two bits. Might have another little circle in there. So you basically just separate it into little sections. You know, anyhow you want really. Just try to make sure each little bit is just a little bit different. You know, like I've got the one up here, I've got two lines. I've got one line here. I mean, it doesn't matter if you've got two lines, but I like to make each section just a little bit different. Kind of give its own little character to each part. I'm going to have a flower here, so I'm just going to sketch in a rough circle, and just to speed this up, I'm just going to go symmetry, options, I'm going to go radial, I'm just going to put this just in the centre, and it's just going to draw all sides for me so I can see what I'm doing nice and clearly. So I'm going around the circle just to get a nice even circle, and then each one I'm going to come out. I'm going to make it come to a point and curve around and come down the next one. Just like that. I'm going to have a little line just come out the centre of each one with a little dot just above. And then I'm going to go back on that, just quickly turn that back to just normal. Just going to put that there. And just a couple of little leafy bits, so it's good. A little leaf just there, maybe one just there. Nothing too crazy. You know, it's, it's classic old school, so I don't want to go too nuts with it. Now we've got that, I'm just going to go on here, I'm just going to turn off that drawing assist and just reinforce that banner shape we've done. So I'm going to bring this curve across like this, curve it here, and I'm going to make it very curved edge. So I'm just going to circle around it, and then start a circle refresh off this part, curve around, circle around, and just have this curve behind there. Now you don't necessarily even have to have the extra parts here, you know, if you want. I just always put these in there because I feel like they should go there. So just two kind of curved triangle shapes, just curving off of the edge part, just there and there. And I'm just going to draw a little line, just mimicking the outside line, just there. And same, just going across this bit. And I'm basically going to have my letter in the length of each one day, so it's going to match up nice and evenly. So lucky is L U C K Y. So that is one, two, three, four, five. So I know I basically want to get the letter C in the centre. So I want C is going to go in there. So I'm going to go to the little block. So I want C about that width. The U, the L, the K, the Y. And just getting them fit in there nice and evenly. You know, by no means am I a lettering expert. I was like, one day in the C in the middle. They're not a U. Or 
are you missing out? Just get a nice C in there. Get a nice U in there. Get a nice L over here. Getting a nice K over here. And then the Y. So it will fit in that kind of space just there. And I need the upper side there properly. Right, so I'm going to go into line work now. Black. And I'm going to use calligraphy monoline. I quite like this line. About the A thickness. And I'm just going to go over all the bits which are basically in symmetric and not going out. Well, I probably did the whole thing first and did a banner afterwards. I just erased the bits. So it just speeds it up. So it's going to bring in the lines here to begin with on the flower. I'm going to do like a dot circle around that, actually, I quite like that. There's little dots in there. I'm just going to get those curved edges. Like so. So we've got a flower in there. I'm just going to bring this line out and curve this line back. Get this one here. So that's basically your flower part in there now. So now we've got that, I'm going to get the base coming up here. Get a curve around there. Do circle on those bits. And like I said, I'm going to draw over the banner and I'm just going to raise the bits to kind of go in that space. Just makes it a bit quicker and just makes it worse. It's literally the exact same product in the end. Just speeds it up a touch. Get that nice and even going through there, I think. Might do old school dots just coming up through this part. Just there. Just like a bit there. So that's those bits. So I'm just going to click here, turn off the drawing assist. Just going to raise this part just here. Just bring the rest of those lines down just. I was going to draw in that, well, I'm going to raise this bit here first and then draw in the banner. So now I'm going to put in the outline for that banner. Triangle bits we said about, so on the outside. Now I'm just going to get this lettering in here. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. Lettering is not my specialty. I think I just need to change the L slightly. I think that L is just a little bit off. 
the base was alright, I think I just need to bring in that line of touch. Yeah. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Those lines there. So that'll do it for the base of it. I'm going to turn off that sketching layer. I'm just going to bring this up a touch now. Just there. That will do. So now we can start shading it in. So I'm going to go into the shading. Uh, I'm just going to turn off drawing assist. I'm not too worried about it now because when we have the line work, click on it, make sure it's set to reference. So when we select shading now, we can auto select all the areas we want to do uh, the shading in. So I'm going to select here to begin with. Now I'm going to be using the spray paint tool, medium nozzle. It's on all Procreate, so you, everyone can use it. You know, I just like it because of the effect it gives. It gives like a very nice sort of edge. But you can use whatever you want. You can use the airbrushing, any other sort of like shading brush you prefer. You know, it really doesn't matter which one you use. And a bit of black just coming across that way. Actually, it might bold that in black, actually. Yeah, I quite like that. I need to black in that tiny, 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 tiny bit. Just there. Just going to select these outside petals. Just put a little bit of black just on the nose. As I bit, it's just a little bit, just a tiny fraction. Just on them, nothing too crazy. And I think the rest I'm going to do in colour. I might test this here, but I doubt I'm going to do this. I just want to say it looks like a tiny bit of black at the top. Yeah, I quite like that actually. I'm going to go for that. So I'm going to go to colour now. Just turn off drawing assist. I don't need it actually. I'm going to start off with the red because I know certain parts that I want in red. I know I want this flower bit in red. Red come from the outside there. I should do it all, oh, and I'm gonna have yellow in the center, I think. Just typical old school. A few other areas I know I want yellow. I think I'm gonna go a nice golden yellow in here. I'm gonna get this caramel tone. Just come a little bit off this edge, just there and there. I know I want these top bits here to be red, so I'm going to colour red in those. Just each time you look in there and you kind of sort of decide, yeah, I know what I want in there, then just colour those areas in that colour. Like look at that, I know I want that in that colour. See this, I'm thinking maybe green in there. Quite like that. Obviously, I want green in the leaves. So we have a green in there. The subject might have just a little bit of still blue just off the edge of the black. Just in that section. Yeah, I like that. And here this one is kind of sort of like parchment kind of sort of tone. Then like a nice sort of dark reddish just coming off the edge just there and there. Literally the exact same thing, just on the outside bit. So I put a little bit there, a little bit there. These overturns. Go red in those. Just gonna turn off that drawing assist. Blue in those two, but actually no, I'm gonna go green in those. I think. Yeah, I always like yellow against the green. And last I'm going to select red. I'm going to go calligraphy pen. The same pen we used before. It's always a bit annoying this bit. I basically want to put this line just here. About the same distance apart from the line all the way across. Then one just on the bottom. So, 
And there you have it. That's how you draw a lucky horseshoe design. And it's actually if you want to have any colour in the background or anything like that, you know, you can always throw in colour if you want to. Yes, spray paint. I mean, you wouldn't want too much red because you've got red in the flower, but you can always do that and just flick through colours if there's any preference you like. Personally, I don't think it needs it, so I'm not going to put it in there. Yeah, that is how to draw a lucky horseshoe design, people. I hope you like it. Comment, like, subscribe, check out my videos. I am The Broken Puppet, and I will see you next time. Peace.